Hey, it's Travis with 99.5 WKDQ. And Gavin from 1061 KISS FM. All the hits. We have all of them. We, we have some country hits. Yeah, you have some. Only a few country hits. Only a few. But we are both 90s kids and huge fans of the Power Rangers. Go, go, Power Rangers. That's right. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Then, then, you, gotta, you, you, gotta, then you gotta do that. Dragon, yeah. And today we're talking about Power Rangers because the new trailer for the film coming out uh, has been released. It's the first thing I saw when I woke up this morning. See, I watched the Logan trailer first. Oh, I didn't know. Okay. Yeah. So well, you need to watch to check that. Check that out then, too. But uh, Power Rangers, we haven't had a new trailer for a few months. Yeah, the, the first trailer was a tease where it yeah. didn't really show the Rangers being the Ranger that showed them being Breakfast Club knockoffs, <laughs> that's getting detention, and everything being dark and gritty because that's what the kids like. That's right. They loved, and they were swimming in some... They were like, swimming. They were swimming. Yeah, and like the like, like thing. Yeah. Nothing really spectacular about that trailer, but today's trailer... I mean, we got to see pretty much everything from, yeah. from Alpha to Zordon to the Putties and Goldar. Yeah. So, uh, what did you think of it, first off? Eh. Eh? I'm not a huge fan. Like, this does not scream Power Rangers to me. Well, no. It, it's it's not it's not like what you would envision the Power Rangers to be as, as we were children. But I like the take they're doing, like making it darker, edgier, because mm. they're adapting to us now in our 20s. Yeah, but there are so many ways. They're, they're kind of tiptoeing around it. Like, there was a fan film that came out a few years ago that has James Van Der Beek. Beek. Yeah. yeah, which was dark and gritty and still felt like Power Rangers to me. This one feels like, I don't know, it feels like CW Power Rangers. <laughs> Everybody in this movie is the most handsome or most beautiful person. I know it's a movie. I know you got to have a certain level of attractiveness. But Billy is the nerd, and he's going to be able to get more ladies than anybody and he, you're setting unrealistic expectations for nerds. You are, and that's not okay. Because <laughs> Billy was one I identified with because, look at me, of course I identify with Billy. You should have cast you as Billy. I could have been Billy. I would have been a good Billy. Can you, like, kick and all that stuff? I can try. I mean, do you have, let me hear your best hee Ha! He's got it. That's a good hee You should have been cast as Billy. I just shocked myself. That was good. really I good. Yeah. So, okay, other than the Power Rangers themselves, what about the concept of, of Zordon and Alpha that you've seen in the trailer? I think Alpha's going to be great. Because, Absolutely, Bill Hader. Because Bill Hader's doing it. Yeah. And Brian Cranston Heisenberg is playing a floating head. Uh, what can you say bad about I don't, I don't know. He is the one who knocks! He's just screaming I, I was almost once. I was almost going to say something, but it's not PG. No. No, you blank right. <laughs> You're blank damn right. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Um... I think that's going to be cool. I think the Zords look cool. They do. However, when they form the Megazord, it looks like hot trash water. Well, it, I mean, then again, so did the Megazord from the Power Rangers movie. But it was, I don't, it felt more like, um, bad on purpose. Like, accidentally, so bad it's good with the Frog Zord right. and, the, and the Falcon. But this just looks like, uh, my friend Dan, shout out to Dan, Hey, it looks like they're trying to make a really lame Transformers movie. I could see that. I can see it. Megazord could be Optimus Prime. It's like they, in the Transformers movies, when they finally render Optimus Prime in like the final cut of the movie, it looks like they're giving us like three quarters done Transformers in this movie. Goldar is just a gold dude, and the putties are just rock no, rocks. No yeah. rocks, yeah. I didn't quite understand that. Um, but then there's Rita... And there's been the big rumor with Rita that her staff has the green power coin. <laughs> okay, I'm does, okay with that. Does that mean maybe we might see a Tommy cameo? I don't, I don't maybe, know. Maybe, or set Tommy up for the inevitable sequel that will ruin our childhoods more. Even though, listen, I, I love Power Rangers a lot, but they kind of did their own ruining when they got like further and further down. Oh, the they did, yeah, yeah. Like Power Rangers, like Super... Samurai vacuum yes. cleaners, like Super what? Samurai vacuum cleaners, was a great series. I, I mean, why you I, say. I'm sorry. When they went door to door selling alien. But vacuums. if you notice in this one, in, in this new trailer, you see them in their zords and, and fighting around, but they've got like their helmets on, but the face is gone. Yeah, that that would never happen in Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. That didn't happen to what time? Lightspeed Rescue yeah. or something like that. I don't know. It just looks like it's. I'm gonna. I make all these criticisms, but I know I'm gonna be there like day one, oh, just, just, just like check out what it is. Yeah. So, I'm going to check it out, but I'm just, I'm really cautiously optimistic. I am too. I'm not going to, I'm not going to go in there holding it to the same standards as I held the Power Rangers had when I was a kid. Yeah. Because I know it's going to be completely different. I just hope that they pay homage to the original Power Rangers somehow. With, with racism. 
They did that in the trailer, didn't they? Yeah, they're like, they're like, well, okay, let's be. It was kind of racist making it the was. Black Ranger black and the Asian Ranger the yellow. That was super not cool, but we're gonna make jokes about it now. It's 2017. Yeah, he's like, I'm black. What? what? So yeah. But also, did you hear him say? I guess it was the Jason, the Red Ranger, say it's morphin time. He did say it's morphin. He did time. say it's morphin time. I was hoping they would do that. So, what are some things in this movie that you're hoping that they're going to bring back from the original Power Rangers? Um, I would very. I need Angel Grove to be destroyed mm-hmm. every week mm-hmm. and then rebuilt every week. Absolutely. Uh, I need people at Angel Grove to not move. They haven't realized that this is a very unsafe place to live. Yeah. Um, Ernie. We need Ernie. Ernie. And we need people saying juice bar a lot because kids don't drink alcohol. Uh, they don't. High schoolers are all about juice bars. Yeah. Um, also, Bulk and Skull. Bulk and Skull. Now, well, in the first trailer, you see a bully uh, kind of, you know, bullying around That's an true. old bully. Would that be Bulk? Could be. We didn't see a Could skull. Be. And I just want to see some good, I, I want to see people in costumes fighting as robots. That's what I want to see. I want to see Iron Man-like quality. Yes. Yes. Which I think we're getting because the Power Rangers are basically five different colored Iron Men. Pretty much. They are. Now, here's the, here's the thing with that, though. Will they be able to fly like Iron Man? Probably, because kids love flying. But yeah, I'm excited for it as much as you can be excited with something that could be so blatantly a train wreck. Uh, so I'm going to check it out when it comes out in March. Sorry, March 17th? Yeah, it comes out like two weeks after so, Logan, yeah. which you should watch the trailer for I'm that. I'm totally going to watch the trailer for mm-hmm. Logan after we get done filming this. All right. Okay. Well, I guess uh, with that, that, that said, uh, go, is go it Power Mo- Rangers. Is it Morphin Time? I hope it's Morphin Time. What are you, the Gray Ranger? I'm, I'm the Gray Ranger. I I just don't really know. I ripped you I'm off of the Blue Ranger again. Right I know. Damn it. Uh, 